Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Almost five full days have passed since the horrifying mass shooting in Las Vegas. Just a short time ago, police there updated us on the latest in the investigation. Um, Here's to part date, we have run down well more than a thousand leads in this investigation. While some of it has helped create a better profile into the madness of this suspect, we do not still have a clear motive or reason why. Well, as the rest of us try our best to understand why the gunman did it, the left decided within hours who they wanted to blame, middle American gun owners. Late night comedians and politicians like Hillary Clinton accused the NRA and its members of responsibility for Stephen Paddock's rampage. Progressive thought leaders like Michael Moore and Brett Stevens of the New York Times called for a repeal of the Second Amendment. Left-wing politicians and gun groups immediately began fundraising off the massacre. Did any of that save a single life? Did it make you safer? Don Calloway is a Democrat, a former state legislator from the state of Missouri, and he joins us tonight. So, Don, I want to ask you, thanks for joining us, the question that I, I've asked everyone I've talked to this week on both sides, um, and it's this. So. Hours after this happened, you heard people, armchair analysts, say this is a result of inaction. We could have stopped this. We chose not to because of political pressure from the National Rifle Association. But we need to summon the political will to prevent this. So this question is really simple. What should we have done to prevent this massacre, the one we saw in Vegas, the biggest in 100 years? What should we have done? Even Tucker, at the end of the day, mass shootings are a result of the types of weapons that are available to our society and the lethality of those weapons that are available to our society. I don't know that any one gun control proposal eliminates the possibility of mass shootings, just like no one uh, homeland security proposal eliminates the, entirely the possibility of uh, terrorism on our country, and this was in, indeed an act of domestic terrorism. However, it is absolutely unacceptable at this, at this point in our country's history to just sat, be satisfied satisfied with the idea of an annual uh, macabre death march each year more grisly than the next. Uh, the inaction okay, at this but, point uh, is, is fairly uh, despicable. Okay, so uh, you're getting right again to the question, but I'm searching for an answer. So you okay, said so, so this talk, is the result of inaction. And I don't want to speak in generalities. I want to speak in hard specifics. Right, so what so laws let, let's would have specifics. prevented what we saw on Sunday? Please, please. For, first of all, we need a serious consideration of limiting magazine sizes. We also need serious consideration about a federal standard which tracks the transfer of every weapon in this country, particularly those of the machine gun variety. Uh, if this young man had, not young man, but if this gentleman had had uh, a, a federal standard which tracked the type of weapons he was amassing, he would have drawn some attention to himself long before he was able to amass the deadly arsenal that he did. This okay. is a very so reasonable that, okay. uh, so you, proponent. You, you, you got, I, you got I, two I'm not suggestions. saying nothing about. That's no, no, at I'm least not arguing two, with you. I just want to. I want to. Like. Uh, right, right. No, no. You, you let's just start with those two really quick. Um, so take sure. the first one first. You said we need to limit magazine size. There are about 60 million large capacity magazines in circulation in the United States. 60 million in a country, um, uh, you know, of, of 320 million. What do you do with those magazines? Do, should we take them away from people? No, I didn't say that whatsoever, but I do think that we should, at this point, limit the size that can be manufactured from now going forward. The 1986 gun law limited the manufacture of, of, uh, of automatic weapons of a certain variety altogether, and the mass shootings, as a result, plummeted. We've seen the Australian laws in which well, these, wait, wait, uh, hold these wait, military stop, stop, stop. style... I'm, it, no, it's, it's really I'm, not funny, I'm sorry. I just, We've wait, seen the no, it's not. No, no, what's what's, what's funny finish, is your Tucker, total hard, misstatement no, of fact that didn't happen. Tucker, that it's very happen. difficult You're wrong. to make reasonable arguments when you keep interrupting me, man. Uh, it did happen in Australia. But that's We've not seen a reasonable argument. Plummet. It's false. Tucker, okay. Tucker, you're asking me what we can do, and I'm giving you answers. I also think okay. that we could, again, let, so let's focus on the second answer I, uh, solution that I proposed, which was to put a serious federal standard around the tracking of every transfer of, uh, of, of, of high, uh, high volume uh, machine gun style weapons. There's no reason that a gentleman like this can amass a deadly military style military volume arsenal okay, stop, and not look, having stop, been tracked uh, at any point. So what does that what does that mean? So he bought these weapons to the extent we know what do you where mean, he what got does it mean? Them. Everyone, Somebody oh, wait, would have let me known just finish my question. Was 
something. So, but somebody Please. did know. The U.S. government knows. The Justice Department knows. Whenever you buy a weapon legally from a federal firearms license holder, you go through a background check. He did. So the government knew that he had these weapons. Not if you buy it from what a gun show, happened? Tucker. It's called the gun show loophole. But he that is didn't, another reasonable you're, gun you're reform. You're speaking out of ignorance. Again, he didn't again, buy no, them at I'm gun not shows. Out of ignorance, Some gun. Tucker. Okay. Tucker, it is let me not just, accurate let me to say that every question. time you buy a gun, you have to go through a background check. I'm you can buy them at in the gun case, shows with okay. no background Please, check Stop whatsoever. filibustering and answer my question. This I'm guy not, bought Tucker. the guns sure. that we know that he bought legally. Okay? So for the guns that we have That's tracked right. to their origin, they were all purchased legally, and he went through a background check in each case. He had no felony record and, so, and no mental illness on record, and so he was allowed to buy them. So the government did know. What should the government have done at that point? Tucker. A federal standard for tracking the firearms of high velocity that every American owns. But and what that does that sold. mean? The government. What does that mean? I, I'm trying to explain. If I could explain, Tucker, we knew that he bought them. Yes, and he bought them legally. Yes, there is no uniform federal standard for tracking who owns these weapons and how many they have. If there was such a standard, we would have seen the Department of Justice and the ATF would have been tipped off that this gentleman was absolutely amassing an arsenal, and they could have had reasonable probability to ask him questions about why and what he was doing. And that, so that was not saying, there. So are you saying, are you saying? That was not there, and no, as a result, this there. gentleman was able to kill 59 people. It's hard to argue no, with somebody who doesn't Tucker. know anything, but, but let me, Tucker, I'm just trying to get no, to the very specific here. don't be here. disrespectful. Don't be disrespectful. Well, no, there I'm being no, sincere. There's no you... universal tracking. Okay. No, there's no tracking. So what is the tracking place? you're proposing? This is probably the last gun control segment I'm ever going to do because it's too frustrating. But I want you to be very specific. If you buy over a certain number of guns, does that mean you believe the government should be law enforcement should be required to go to your house and talk to you, follow you, put you under surveillance? What are you talking about specifically? As I said in the last section in which I tried to answer. You, if we are to allow the purchase of high-velocity machines, which are used exclusively for the efficient killing of mass numbers of humans, it is a reasonable okay. gun control measure to track how many of these one person owns. But what does that mean, track? track? Does Tucker, it mean put them under Tucker, surveillance? I, what does it mean? What are you talking uh, Tucker, about? Tucker. Tucker, the government knows how many cars I own. I have to register them. I have to but report them. But what should they do about it? The government he already should, had background checks we already. Can know, we can know how many you... But we did you own know. 56... Tucker, stop. This is just being, it, it's not productive, so let's go to the next question. No, but you're not answering my question, which is what should the government because then do? Because you're not allowing we know it, how it's not being productive, Tucker. What we know is at this point that we have allowed ourselves to end the gun control debate in this country. There is no Stop debate. This is just propaganda. You no, don't no, have a real no, answer. I'm too literal for conversations Tucker, like this. It's Tucker, too dumb. I'm asking you, what does it mean to, to The gun debate is right, okay. over in this country. You got there it done. No I've had enough. It's just, this is not useful at all. Thank you for joining us.